Francoise Coast is a historian and professor of American studies at the University of Toulouse, and she joins us now from there. Uh, Francoise, thanks for talking to us. Now, how serious might these allegations be for Kavanaugh, really? Even more damning allegations came out against Donald Trump, and he still won the presidency. What's the likelihood these public allegations could actually stop his Supreme Court pick? Well, the numbers are on Kavanaugh's side because, as your story explained, the Republicans have a majority in the Senate, both in the committee and in the chamber as a whole. So if the, if the vote were to happen this week, Kavanaugh would probably have 51, 51 votes out of 100, unless, and that's the big question, a couple of Republicans, in particular uh, female Republican senators, decide to ask for more questions, ask for more time in order to hear Professor Ford. And this could be a game changer. Of course, you could say Trump did worse, but the stakes are in a way higher now, two years bef uh, in the Trump's presidency, knowing that Kavanaugh would be in power for the next 40 years. He's a very young man. Those uh, Supreme Court seats uh, have a lifetime tenure. So he could potentially be on the bench for the next 40 years, deciding, being the fifth deciding vote on crucial issues regarding uh, women's rights, in particular abortion rights. So the left, the Democrats, a women's rights group are really, really motivated to try to stop Kavanaugh and maybe um, stop the whole process before the midterms. Well, it is interesting, the timing here, because on the one hand, you might argue that it's a last-ditch ploy from the Democrats, as they actually had this information several months ago. I guess my question is, is this more of a Democratic ploy, or is this just more fallout from the Me Too movement? I think the, the story got out of the Democrats' hands, uh, because it's much bigger. Uh, the Democrats have had information since early June, it looks like. They decided not to act on it because, in a way, it's he says, she says. It cannot be proved. It was such a long time ago. So the Democrats didn't, get, didn't want to get their hands dirty, maybe, dealing with this. But the, the woman herself, seeing that things were going nowhere with her story, decided to go public, as you said. And it looks like... The, the the name her name was made public yesterday afternoon and by sunday night the story had become huge in the media on social media it looks like the story is getting a life of its own beyond the democrats you know beyond kavanaugh because it is a huge second step probably in a larger history of the me too movement Mm. Francoise, thank you for that. De Francoise Coast is speaking to, there, to us there from Toulouse, a historian and a professor of American studies at the university there.